The first alert weather update. Well, this morning we are warm. Just how warm are we? Well, we're warm enough to get some dense fog to form all across the region. And Rochester is no stranger to this this morning. If you take a look at our live camera right now. We are seeing a lot of dense fog overlooking Signal Hill at the moment. And we are having visibility issues around the region up to a quarter of a mile here in Dodge County, Olmstead County, and then in Winona here, we're seeing visibility issues up to just less than two miles. Even along the I-35 corridor and into northeast Iowa, we're up to a quarter of a mile down there. So we are seeing those visibility issues this morning. Remember, if you're going to be out early, don't flash your high beams, do your low beams and take a little bit slower. And give yourself more room so you don't want any accidents this morning. We will see that fog clear up later this morning into the later morning hours. We are going to be seeing temperatures that will be really warm right now across the region into the lower 30s and upper 20s there in Mason City. Typically in Olmsted County right now, we should be in Rochester into the lower 20s and upper teens for overnight lives. So we are about 10 degrees or more above average right now. So we do have a little bit of some wintery mix here in Winona County that's moving slowly on off and lingering towards western Wisconsin at the moment. We are going to be seeing some snowfall into northeast Iowa, particularly into Fillmore County and then into Decorah there in Winnesheet County and Alamakee in Houston. All that will be slowly moving on off this morning. We are having snowfall totals more heavier into western Wisconsin here, about an inch worth of radar estimated accumulation and then less than an inch here to more of our eastern counties in our viewing area. But over the course of the next few days, we are going to be seeing a low pressure system, not necessarily this one, but we'll get one all the way from western Canada that will slide through North Dakota and Bismarck and into our region on Monday for the chance to bring us some stray snow chances into Monday night and Tuesday morning. So for today, we are going to be seeing those cloud, uh, the foggy conditions clear out, but we'll have cloudy conditions for tomorrow. For the start of your week, we will have those stray chances by, by mid, late neck, late this coming week. We are going to be seeing some a temperature trend where we'll peak potentially into the mid to high 40s. So we'll be much above average for this week. So tracking this out for you this morning, we'll have temperatures into the lower 30s this afternoon. We'll warm up into the upper 30s across the region and lower 40s. I think we're going to be a little bit warmer than 34 degrees according to this model. And by the time we get to the overnight hours through Monday, we'll be sitting into the, we'll dip down into the mid to lower 20s, but by tomorrow evening, this is when this model is indicating us for some snowfall. I wanted to mention to you that the models are not in agreement this morning about where the snowfall will come. I do think that the best model run will end up being a little bit more shifted, more northwestward, and it'll come through our region that way for some chance for some light snowfall. So I'm putting this at stray for chances for tomorrow night into early tomorrow morning with a rain chance on Saturday. So in this will be light snowfall accumulation, probably less than half an inch across Olmstead County potentially. So over the course of this week, we'll peak on Thursday to be 48 degrees, but almost 15 degrees or more above average for us. For today, we are gonna be sitting into about 36 degrees for our high temperature day in Olmstead County. Fogging conditions will clear out towards the later morning hours. Mostly cloudy for tomorrow with lots of clouds into sprinkled in through the forecast for your Monday. Over the course of this week, we'll be warming up, like I said, into the mid to upper 40s by Thursday. So much above average and not really feeling too festive in terms of those temperatures with the holiday season coming. Yes, but maybe those warmer temperatures are for those people who maybe procrastinated on those Christmas lights. Your last oh, little window to get those lights get, up while before the, lights the freezing up. comes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So people should monitor the fog this morning and then should are the roads maybe going to be slick from a little bit of that snow or you think it will be light enough that it should be OK? I think we should be light enough. We'll be OK. All right. Great. Thank Always you, just David. take it a little slower. <laughs> yes. Thanks, David.